Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, um, I want to tell you that right now in this area, it is raining cats and dogs. <gasps> wow. Yes, it's really Here, nothing, nothing oh. rain. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Nothing rain. <laughs> I hope that the power stayed uh, and the connection too. Esperemos que la energía no se nos vaya y para poder mantener la conexión. Okay, good evening.
Okay. Okay, let us start now. Um, Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm checking the attendance. Adriana del Carmen Medina. It's not here. Ana Beatriz Campos. Present. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Okay. Escobar. Present. Selina Guadalupe. Present. Diana Stephanie. Present. Eric Orlando Diaz. Present. Francis Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Laura Carolina. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. María Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Present teacher, but in a few minutes I'm arriving. I am listening. Okay, okay, hold on. María Concepción is the one that said present, right? 
And then Maria Elena. Yes, teacher. Present, let me have Okay. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present, teacher. Welcome, Mayra. Welcome, teacher. Zaira Marleni Larin. Present, teacher. Santos Misael Cañas. Santos is not here now. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, as I told you uh, a few minutes ago, right here it is raining. I hope that the power uh, stay with us in order that we can continue with the class. Teacher, good evening, Laura. Laura, Laura, Laura is there. Hi. Laura Carolina. Yes, teacher. Okay, Laura is there. Welcome. Okay, according to my lesson plan today, this is video conference number two, equation of certainty. And we are going to make a review about the previous class in order to connect the previous knowledge with this one that we are going to see today. Okay, now you can share your uh, ideas. and all the knowledge that you learned yesterday about the topic. What do um, you- A question, a question um, uh, in our, our company. Um, directly uh, give directly service service as consumer okay somebody else uh, we were talking about the distribution channels and specifically the direct and indirect distribution channels. Okay, thank you, Eric. Okay, so Mariel, what else do you remember about the previous class? Just let me know, please. We study some meanings about uh, the distribution, like retailers, consultants, distributors. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else? What about the rest? What can you tell me about? Hello?
Hello, 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 hello. We also practice a conversation about uh, guys that want to explore new channels. Okay. What else? Okay. Today we are going to start uh, just talking about distribution channel. In order to talk about this, I'm going to show you some slices. And that way you are going to have more ideas about this topic. Okay, let us talk about uh, what is a channel of distributions. A channel of distribution or trade channel is defined as the path or route along which goods move from producer or, or manufacturers to ultimate consumer or industrial user. What can you tell me about this concept? If I ask you tomorrow in your own world, what can you tell me about? Based on this concept, I need that you create your own and that way it is going to be easy for all of you to keep in mind uh, what is uh, a channel of distribution. Tell me. Uh, for me, a uh, channel distribution is a way to transport uh, some goods to, from some place to another. Okay, that is your concept. Okay, somebody else? Um. For me, uh, for example, a manufacturing make a product in channel of distribution is, for example, supermarket or, or store. Um, um, the company, the company, uh, the company sell the product and no sorry yes sell the product and the consumer buy the product at the channel distribution okay thank you somebody else
remember in your own words, you can get me a concept about this. What is channel of distribution? I already underlined some words in order that you can keep in mind. And also uh, they are going to help you to remember what is a, sh a, sh a channel. And we can say that it's a, a different ways that we uh, a company can use in order to move the product in a very simple uh, concept. Okay, let us move a little bit. Okay, in this channel, we, we are going to find out uh, different agents that are part of uh, the channel. For example, we can find producer, uh, also uh, we can find consumer or users. We have also uh, wholesalers, a selling agent, retailer or, or dealers. What can you tell me uh, about this? In order that you get familiar with this uh, term, what you need to do is just to relate it with uh, what is happening in your companies. Maybe you are producing something and at the same time you are consuming or using uh, another product. But I would like to hear you uh, talking about these terms. Another thing is that you need to be really clear. You need to have a clear concept of each term because uh, if you don't know exactly the meaning of one of these terms, uh, it is going to be difficult for you in order to relate uh, with, the, with the context. For that reason, if you have problem uh, with the meaning, what you can do is just to create your own vocabulary and later on, you can look it up in, in a dictionary. And that way you are going to have a, a clear concept about it. Yesterday, I guess we were talking about retailer and, uh, and also in this case, we are talking about dealers. But I would like to know exactly if you know the meaning of these terms. Hello. I'm sorry if I'm speaking in a loud way because as I told you right here, it is raining. Even though that I got my headphone, but uh, sometimes I feel that I speak in, in, a, in not in a proper way. For that reason, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking this way. What can you tell me about consumer? When we talk about consumer, what can you infer about this term? Maybe someone who uses a product or the service. 
Okay. Okay. Is the final consumer? Okay, could be the final consumer that uh, all the, those people that are going to use the product. Yeah, but, but, but also we got a uh, selling agent. What can you tell me about selling agents? Could you give me some example about that? Call center. Okay. Selling agent, for example, in my case, uh, sell travel tickets in other company. Well, um, in my case, uh, the customer llegar. Uh, Go to go to the company. Uh, in other case, in call center, call call for for flights or for travel tickets, and and selling agent sell the travel ticket. Example. Okay. Then what about this one, the previous one, the wholesalers? When we talk about wholesaler, we are talking about? Um, these are the person that buy directly to the, to the company and they uh, buy it in bulk, so they start then they continue uh, selling the products in a higher price to, to another consumers. Okay. Excellent. And, and also we can relate all, uh, all this term. For example, if we talk about a retailer, we can say that uh, they uh, they need to look for a channel in order to make business with uh, with wholesaler, right? Okay, I guess uh, all of you got uh, a clear concept about this. I don't know if somebody have any questions so far from here. If everything is clear, we are going to continue with the next slides. No question? No. Okay. Okay, we got the number one. What is the channel of distribution? A channel or distribution or trade channel is defined as the path of the road along which goods move from producer or manufacturer to ultimate consumer or industrial user. We already talked about this. Okay, in the second, uh, we have a channel of distribution consists of three types of flows. Okay, I need that you take into account this number two. If you want, you can make a screenshot or you can write down some ideas in order that you can remember. Okay, we got downward flow of good from producer to consumer. I'm sorry. What is mean downward? Down, downward, flows, good. Okay, uh, let us uh, understand in the context. 
before to give you, uh, uh, because I don't like to give a translation. Down mean this. Yeah, you know the meaning of the word yeah. down? Okay, down That's word. Right. And what about the meaning of the word? Word, down word. Flow uh, from producer to consumer. I don't know if, uh, if you got some picture in your mind about uh, the concept. Es como una picada, pero... um, como en picada. Could be from up to down. It is the product is up and is going down in order to get close to the consumer. Descendente. Excuse me. Descender. Yeah. Como descender. Could be that way. Okay, downflow is that something that is uh, going from up to down. Yep. Okay, this is one aspect that, that this happened from producer to consumer. Somebody has to create something and they have to look the way how they are going to let people get this product. In another word, they, they already have. Uh, the channel in order that consumer get the product. Okay, and also we have something different that is called outward flow. What about this one? Outward flow of cash payment for good from consumer to producer. What happened here? What can you tell me about this? This is the contrast of the fair one. Because in the fair one, we talk about down. And right here, we are talking about up, you know, upflow of cash payment. What can you tell me uh, about this? Okay, in order that you can understand this concept, what I can tell you is that imagine a, a big company uh, have a lot of different channel in order to let the, the, their product uh, get close to the consumer. And that way, uh, that means that they are going to sell a lot of product. And right here, uh, after they, sells a lot of product, they are going to get an hour flow of cash. They are going to get a lot of money, right? I don't know if you got clear this concept. It is like, uh, let me give you an example. Imagine uh, Coca-Cola in, uh, let me see, let us talk about Christmas. They look for different channel in order that all people can buy Coca-Cola. And of course, on December, they, they outward flow a lot of uh, amount of money because a lot of people buy, buy it, right? I don't know if you got my, my example. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can think in uh, another example it's in order that your your classmate can understand exactly what we are talking about. No examples. Okay, let us continue. Then we are going to see a general example. Okay, this is the third one. Flow of marketing information in both 
downward and outward directions. Okay. Flow of information on new products, new use of existing products, etc. From producer to consumer and flow of information in the form of feedback on the ones, suggestion, complaints, etc. From consumer, user to producer. What does it mean when we talk about marketing flow? What do you understand? Tell me. I'm going to give you some minute in order that you can read it and then you are going to analyze and give me your opinion about this concept. I'm waiting. I don't, know how, I don't know how to say in English, but it's como la, la tendencia. Okay. Uh, I think that the main idea is, is that uh, when someone creates a product, uh, they are giving um, the idea, they create something uh, thinking about what the consumer wants, but when the uh, but when the consumer takes the product and they and they analyze them, uh, they just uh, take back the feedback to the producer, like uh, hey, I don't like this, or I like this specifically. So this is why. Uh, information goes in both sides in both directions upwards and downward and downward okay that that oh, correctly that is that is the main idea because uh, uh, as soon as a company create a prototype and they start producing the product they need to to be uh, checking how everything is going in order to 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 keep or to increase uh, the product. And that is really, really important. And right here we have downward, outward, and flow of marketing. That is really, really important. Okay, let us see now the distribution type because we have a uh, different. For example, this one, it is uh, the producer and consumer. A producer may sell directly to consumer through door-to-door -door salesmen, direct mail or through his own retail stores. In this channel, there is no middleman involved and producer directly sell their products to the consumers. I'm going to let you read in a slowly way in order that you can get the main idea of this one. And at the same time, uh, if you can give me some example about this, it is going to be better in order that your classmate can understand the concept. And right here also we can find um, some key words. Let me underline it. No middleman. You need to have clear this. You got it there. What does mean in this concept? No people needed to do the business. Mm. 
Well, uh, according to to the term that we got in the at, at the top, that means that they are not going to use uh, a third person in order to sell their products. That means they are going to produce it, but at the same time, they are going to go directly to consumer. Somebody can mention some example related with this concept. Think about, think about this. Only a few examples, no more, no, no, not a lot. For example, share this uh, telephone or catalog of sales or uh, direct, uh, directly the email. Um, for example, uh, a sticker, a level. Able. But uh, do you consider that uh, in those companies that you mentioned, is no middlemen in order to do business? Okay, I need that you think about this concept and you can give me an example. Uh, yes, yes, okay. And uh, distribution in the airport, for example, is uh, no hay intermediario en eso. No middleman. No middleman, yes. En the herbal and distribution de. ¿Cómo se dice? Proteínas. Protein? Yes, protein. And the customer uh, directly con the company. Ah, okay. For, for example, food service. Ah, okay. Like uh, Burger King or McDonald's. Okay, they create it and at the same time, they uh, the consumer just go there and get it, right? Okay. I guess it's, it's, it's better with example in order that some of you can understand this concept because uh, sometimes when we when we read a, a concept and we don't understand some word, it's kind of difficult. But I guess it's better given examples. Okay, what else can you mention about this? Example examples. An example of door-to-door -door salesman, it can be uh, an agent of, uh, I don't know how to say, a funeraria, uh, an agent of a funerary that uh, it's trying to sell the services door-to-door. Uh, -door. They are uh, asking people to, to take a contract with them and a direct mail example is for is Amazon. They use their own platform uh, to to sell the products and using for, and, and specifically in, in the United States, they use their own mail to distribute the products. And an example of 
uh, producers that sell in great retail stores, uh, for example, Forever 21 or oh. Sara. Oh, okay. They produce and they sell in their own retail stores uh, around the country. Okay, exactly. That That is a very specific examples. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. All is okay. Okay, I need to erase this line first. Okay, the second one that we have is producer, retailer, consumer. Let it get close in order that you can see it and read it very well. Okay, let me move this. Okay, this channel of distribution involves only one uh, middleman called retailer. This channel relies the manufacturer from burden or selling the goods himself and at the same time gives him control over the process of distribution. Okay. The same method. Tell me, give me an example and what do you think about the main idea of this? Okay, I'm going to underline some uh, keywords that you can use in order to talk about this. Okay, what can you tell me about this? And take a look at the last uh, two lines. Teacher. Hello, sir. Um, for example, Avon products. Okay. Uh, I guess because there is one person um, offering them the products. Only one middleman called, okay. Okay, but well, could be in that way. But, but also we need to have really clear what is the concept what is the meaning of the word retailer uh, okay yeah i have oh yeah 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 for example teacher support selected okay and the commercial and distribution and and run the commerce and Commercial, a distribution a sales the super select and different um, molds and the silence. Okay. Somebody else? Another example is Group of Q or Excel Automotrice, they are selling vehicles from from other trademarks like Nissan, Toyota, and they use retailers like Group of Q or Excel Automotrice to sell their products to 
final consumers. Okay. And also they have something that is called los usados confiables. I guess they 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 sell different brands, right? Yep. Okay. Somebody else want to talk about this? I need that you participate. I guess raining is stop now. Let me try to put up, put away my headphones. Hello, can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, what else can you tell me about this? Hello. Okay, let me erase again the lines. I know that you are familiar with this kind of, uh, with this characteristic and you can mention Every one of you, I know that you are able to give me not only just one example, maybe two or three related with this producer, producer, retailer, and consumer. But I want to, to, to hear to all of you. Okay, what about this one? This is the third one, producer, wholesaler, retailer, and consumer. How many actions do we have here in this process? Hello. Okay, you got it there. Another that we can read it. Two mil, uh, middlemen that could be wholesaler and retailer are involved. Here, the producer sell his product to wholesaler, who in turn sell it to retailer and retailer finally sell the product to the consumer. Okay, example. Are you there? Let me, let me, I'm going to stop uh, chatting. I need to see if you are there because I see only us, some of you. Remember, if you participate, if you talk about this, uh, you are going to remember. But if you don't talk, if you don't understand what we are talking about, at the end, it's, it is going to be difficult. And this is uh, level four. And for that reason, uh, I don't want to be translating everything, you know. That is why I told you at the beginning that you need to create your own vocabulary and that way you are going to get some meaning of 
of some term that we are going to use it here. And that, uh, that is also uh, in order that you can fade the true date, you need to, to, to use English. So you, you need to use the language. For that reason, I'm asking you some example related with this. But I, I, I want to see that all of you participate. For example, teacher, uh, in some case in gas station, uh, the producer uh, are, is Texaco, for, for example. Okay, let us see that. They, they oh. sell to, to the, to the, no, no, no. The producer is the, the, the company that, that exports the, the, the oil, the gasoline. Okay. Whose sellers are the, uh, like, uh, like the Texaco gas station and retailers are the white, white flag gas stations. I got your idea. Thank you. Somebody else? Also a product like flour that is produced uh, is making a producer in the United States and then uh, wholesalers buy this uh, like Bimbo or another and they then they sell it to our retailers like a little stores in our communities and then a consumer buy this product. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay, I'm I'm sorry, I'm going to stop sharing because I need to check up attendance again. But I need that all of you give your point of view about what we are talking about. I want to hear you. That is the main purpose. And that way you are going to develop your skill. Speaking is really important. Of course, I know that uh, you got some idea, but you need to know how to share it. And don't worry about mistakes. Remember that in English, we, we talk about tries and error. And that way you are going to learn. Okay, let me check out again the, the attendance. Okay, uh, Adriana del Carmen. <clears throat> Adriana del Carmen. It's not here. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Escobar. Present. Selina. Present. Diana. Present. Eric. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Jose Jonathan, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. 
María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. One, two, three. Okay, uh, don't forget that you need to, to get at least the 80% of your attendance in order to approve the course. Okay, let us continue talking about Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we were talking about this. Then I got some examples. But I'm still waiting for, for more examples because I know that in that way you can understand better. But if you don't want to talk, well. Teacher, I'm here. Oh, my okay. cell phone is in my pocket. Oh, okay, okay. Still driving? Yes. Be careful, be careful. Okay, uh, take a look at this one. We got producer, agent, wholesaler, retailer, and consumer. This is the longest channel of distribution in which three Middlemen are involved. The agent distribute the product among a few wholesaler. Each wholesaler distribute the product among a number of retailer who finally sell it to the consumer. This channel is suitable for wider distribution of various industrial products. And I guess that you are familiar with this kind of product and you are going to be able to give me some example related with this. Okay, try to think. I'm going to give you time in order that you can give me some example. Teacher. Hello. I think that an example is um as um even 
this is a this is how a uh, how to say um pyramid okay but they they have um they have self for eh, who sells okay uh, right here take a look at this in which three middlemen are involved and when we talk about three middle uh, men we are talking about agent we are talking about a wholesaler and also a retailer. This one. And based on this, it has to be your, your, your example. Maybe in, in your companies, uh, you have something similar and you can use your company in order to give us some examples related with this. Uh, I was thinking about the music industry. Oh, that is okay. a, uh -huh. There is a singer who song that is a producer, then a agent that can be a, a, a someone who manage their Activities, I don't know. And then a wholesaler that is a discography, something like that. A retailer like Siman or some other store that sells disc and then a consumer that uh, hears the song. Okay, nice example. Thank you. Somebody else? Hello, are you there? I'm still waiting for your examples. I think that another example is like uh, Unilever or Procter & Gamble. They sell their products to a wholesaler, like uh, for example here in the country, say Inverton, these are Distributor, distributor who who sells to to a retailer. Uh, in this case, are the stores in our Colonia, <laughs> okay, and yes. they sell to and they sell to the consumer, the final consumer. Okay, thank you. Remember, I need that you uh, think of, think about that, you know. I'm giving you the chance to give your opinion. <clears throat> Because at the end of the class, I don't want to hear that somebody said, no, I didn't understand anything in this class. No. Well, and, and also, if you have any question, you can ask in order to clarify the concept. But I guess with, with example, uh, it's the easy way in order that we can understand it. Teacher, I'm not sure, but many Shoes store, for example, La Log, you choose MB, they retailer um, for the other companies. It, it, it is this. Yes, but, but remember what we need to see is uh, this that we need to, to see an agent, a wholesaler, and retailer, you know.
of course that have to be with uh, what we are talking about. Because uh, imagine that there is a product that is not produced uh, right here in this country. They need to have uh, an agent right here in order to talk with a wholesaler and then this uh, wholesaler are going to talk with retailer, you know? But, but I, what I need is that you give me a specific example and that way you are going to show me that you understand what we are talking about. Start raining again. Maybe Tropicas store selling Maves, Maves wash machine. Teacher, for for example, uh, how distributor uh, product uh, use agent borsales retailer uh, hasta llegar consumidor. Teacher. Ma, and how do you say consumidor in English? Consumer. Cons, consumer. Ah, okay. Try try to produce the sound of the word. Yeah. And and that way you are going to get familiar with it. Uh, but don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid. Okay, teacher. <laughs> no fear significa no tenerle miedo a nada. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Come on, Laura. Yeah, I know you can do it. Okay, somebody else? No? Ah, okay. Let us continue then, if you don't want to talk. Okay, we already talked about this. I need to erase a line. I got a line there. I'm going to erase it. Okay. Try to keep in mind all this aspect. Later on, we are going to see an example and you are going to work in something similar. Well, I guess uh, uh, this is the general aspect that we are going to consider when we talk about distribution types. Let us see now uh, some example, a specific example, because you already mentioned some. That let me let me let me get something here. Okay, let us talk about Nike. Okay, I guess you are able to see Nike channel of distribution. Okay, take a look, take a look at the diagram that I got here. 
number one, number two, and number three. Okay, Nike distribute its products through three major channels. Number one, by selling product to wholesaler in the US and international markets. That is the first one. What about the second one? By direct to consumer or DTC sales, which include in line and factory retail outlets and refer to the graph that we got there and e-commerce sales through www.nike.com you know that is the second one and the third ones by selling to retailers and then to consumer I guess this example is really clear, but if you don't understand or you have some doubts, just let me know. Because later on you are going to do something similar. You are going to think in a product and you are going to think in the, in the channel of distributions. No question at all? Okay. Okay, let us see this. Producer, retailer, and consumer. Most often, the type of channel Nike uses is a producer, Nike. Then the producer sells to retailer. That could be full locker. Then the retailer sell to the consumers. You can see the picture there. I guess uh, this example is really clear, but as I told you before, if you have some doubt, just let me know. Okay, let, let, let me see if you are getting my message. Okay, somebody tell me, describe what, what do we have in the third picture? I want to be sure that all of you are there. Is a consumer? Do you agree with, with her? Remember the process. Take a look at take a look at the picture. Be careful. Be careful about that. The factory picture. Ah, <laughs> okay. And we call it. How do we call it to this one? According to this. This is. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Producer. Okay. What about this one? What can you see in these pictures? Retailer teacher. Okay. Give me some example. Uh, El Salvador. Uh, es por la ah, Simán. Okay, okay es por la <laughs> Simán. Okay, I, okay, okay, okay. What else? What else? Solo esos dos. No. And what about the last picture? Hello, 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 hello. 
Consumer t-shirt. Okay, the consumer, somebody uh, bought these shoes in the foot locker and now he or she is wearing, is using or wearing uh, the shoes, you know? And we have producer, retailer, and consumer. Question? No? Okay. Okay, what about this? Producer and consumer. On some occasions, the channel strategy for Nike could go from the producer directly to the consumers. When a Nike shoe is personalized for the consumer, for instance, okay? What, what, what does mean? Could you give me uh, extra information about this? So please read it, read it again. The nine online teacher. Okay. What else? Apple. Uh, you could personalize your your new iPhone or your Apple Watch, changing the color and things like that, and you buy directly to Apple. To ah, okay. The final consumer. Talking about shoes, uh, that usually happen with uh, BKB players, you know, basketball player. They personalize. Teacher. Hello, hello. This strategy is the marketing. Okay. Personalizar the product. Okay. Do you consider that you can give me an example right here in El Salvador? Related with producer and consumer. Uh, there are a lot of entrepreneurs in Instagram that you can uh, directly buy a products like jewelry or things like that and you can personalize. Ah, oh, okay, excellent. The major fast food restaurant, they have the delivery app. You can personalize uh, your order the size. For example, Pizza Hut, you can personalize your order it shows in the size of your pizza and if you want some compliments and all, all the, the, the ingredient that you want to have it and right. that you don't want to have it right yeah okay i got you okay let us move on then Okay, what about this one? Direct to consumer. Let us talk about some advantages. Low startup costs, workforce efficiency from consolidate, consolidated operation. What about general disadvantages? What a profile will change, a store order in case and or uh, talking about pallet quantities, consumer order are in small each quantities. Could be fast picked or broken case operation must be added to the distribution center. Conflict between store priorities and uh, DTC orders, you know, 
that is called distribution center conflicts. Okay, try to keep in mind because uh, we are going to talk about the material. And what about the, this one, the selective distribution? Nike can also be classified as having a selective distribution because they are found in places that match their target markets and positioning retail store, the cater to athletic wears, including clothing and shoes. These retail stores are found in shopping malls or freestanding store where consumer in this market can obtain them when they want to purchase a Nike shoes. It is a lefty distribution because the Nike are not available everywhere, but they are not exclusive either. Okay. You can talk not only as about Nike, you can mention another brand, but what I need are examples. Piensa, piensa. In the next classes, maybe I'm going to think a picture uh, about somebody that is thinking and not that that is going to show you that you need to think about. But at the same time, you are going to share with the rest of the class, what do you think about that? Not example. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm going to outline some words that you need to have in mind, cater, for example, this one. You need to know the meaning. What about this one, freestanding? Okay, what can you tell me? Hello, are you there? Uh, I'm thinking like uh, a Toyota that have some cars that are, are not available in all the countries. For example, some drugs like uh, 
I don't know, some drugs that are not available in the United States because the, the government doesn't permit, but in El Salvador uh, are available. And some characteristic of the floor of, or the country uh, permit this car uh, work better. Okay, I got your I got your idea. Um, also, teacher, there is a brand for uh, clothing for work that is called Manhattan. And oh, okay, okay. That brand and all of the uh, formal shirts, uh, they are in several stores like Pierre, Siman, uh, Wilson, and all of those match with the formal clothes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let us move on. Well, I guess um we already got some ideas related with this. Now we are going to take a look at our material. I'm going to stop sharing and let us see our book that we need to study to. Okay, let me see. I guess uh, that all of you got the material. And I need that you go to page number, let me see, number 10, page number 10. And there you are going to find out the exercise number five, building vocabulary. You are going to look the chart and read the example below. I'm going to show you if you don't have it. I got it here. Just let me know if you can see it. Yeah. Okay. You have there the distribution channel for consumer product. Uh, we have three different aspects here. Let me move a little bit. Okay. We have direct channel, retail channel, and wholesale channel. We already talk in a different way about this. Uh, when we talk about direct, we are talking about producer and consumer. When we talk about retail, we talk about producer and retailer and consumer. And when we talk about wholesale channel, we are talking about producer, wholesale or distributor, retailer and consumer. And based on this, that I need that you understand it. Uh, we are going to work in exercise number six. But you need to have a clear these concepts because, and that way we are going to work in exercise number six. Set so your term. Categorize the example according to the channel presented in the chart. Check answer with a pattern. You have it there from one to six. And you are going to have a uh, light like 10 minutes to solve it. I don't know if you want to make a screenshot about this or if you already printed the material. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and you are going to work on it and let, 
Later on, we are going to compare with somebody else. Okay, remember you got, uh, you are going to have like 10 minutes in order to resolve. I don't know if you are, if you already started. And then you are going to compare with somebody else.
Okay, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Could you please write your hand if you already finished? And that way I'm going, okay, I got one. Two. Okay, let me see how many, four, five, six, seven, Okay, we are waiting for the rest. Okay, I guess time is over, time is over. What about you, Laura? Did you finish or not? Yes, teacher. Ah, you're, uh, I'm waiting to see your hand up. Okay. No, it's a trick. What about you, Misael? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Well, I guess I'm not sure if, if it is correct. Okay, but I need to, I need I need to see the hand up too. Wendy, you are still working on it. Are you still working on it or I or? don't understand clearly clear because mm. okay. I <laughs> okay. Anna Lilian? Ah, okay. But you didn't rush your hand. Rush your hand. Put your hand up. Ah, okay. 
Para los que no han encontrado todavía dónde está la manito, váyanse ahí donde dice Reactions. Y ahí eligen la manito. Mejor la va a tener así, porque no lo tengo. No. Ok, I'm going to tell you in Spanish. En la parte de abajo hay una carita con un signo más. A ver si ya lo encontró. Ok, we are waiting for Wendy, Yesenia, María Elena. Escobar and Mayra. Okay, cause of the time, we are going to compare with somebody else and you are going to talk. Uh, maybe you are not going to have a lot of time, but at least, uh, let me see if we got six, you are going to have three minutes to talk about and you are going to compare. I'm going to give you only three minutes to do it. Compare it. Here we go. is being recorded.
Okay. Who wants to, uh, to resolve number one? Yes, that's final. Okay. Amazon sell kindness to its customers through its own platform. It is direct channel. Okay, number two. Retail channel. Retail channel. Somebody else? Retail channel. Okay, somebody else have a, has in a different way? Me, teacher. What do you have? Very fortunate. No. Number two. Number two. Uh, it's a little channel. Number two, retail. Little channel. You got the red channel, okay. IKEA buys product from different manufacturers and sell them in their stores. Okay. Somebody else has in a different way? Number two, retail channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is it. Okay, number two, you have retail channel. Okay. Mm, but remember that this brand buys products from different manufacturers and sell them in their stores. Okay, I'm going to show you at the end. Okay, number three. What do you have in number three? Wholesale. Wholesale. Awesome. Bowser supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchase in bulk. Okay. That is, uh, this is a key word in bulk. If you know the meaning of the word, uh, you are going to be able to choose the right channel here. Okay, number four. What do you have number four? Direct. Direct, Direct channel. Okay. Their computer sell through its own online Direct. platform or call center. Okay. Number four. Okay, number five. Excuse me? Retail. Retail. Pika buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. Okay, you need to be careful about that. You need to be careful. And number six. Well, the same. Better well, grocery well. supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchase in bulk too. Okay, I'm going to share what I have. And tomorrow we are going to discuss about this cost of the time. Okay, you can compare with your own information that you have in number one, the red channel, number two, wholesale channel, number three, retail channel, number four, uh, direct channel, number five, wholesale channel, and the last one, retail channel. If you want, you can make a screenshot and you are going to have a homework for tomorrow. The homework is going to be this.
you are not going to discuss, but you are going to think um, which channel is more effective. And you are going to support your ideas. If you said that uh, the direct channel is the, is the best, okay, you are going to give some ideas in order to support what you are saying. But try to Google it and then you are going to find out more information about it. Okay, thank you very much. I need to check out the attendance. And tomorrow we are going to continue talking about uh, this topic because we need to have a very clear Ok, eh, en español y a colores, por favor, no se despiden de su asistencia. Es muy vital el que hagan el 80%. Adriana del Carmen. Adriana, no está, it is the second time. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Escobar. Present. Eh, Selina. Present. Diana. Present. Eric. Present. Francis. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present. Mayra. Present teacher. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. And Yesenia Lisa. Present teacher. Okay, that's all for today. According to my list, I need to talk with the number two of the list. Let me see, who is it? I need to talk with Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. So please stay at the end. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much. I do really appreciate your assistance today. Good night. And I hope to Good see you night. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Blessings. See you tomorrow. The same to you. The same to you. Same way. Okay. As you can see, uh, I mentioned the name of the person that is assigned for one by one, but she left. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in the next class.